A very important keyword in C-sharp is this async. So let's try and understand what this is doing. Let's say you have a button and this button, when you click it, what it will do is it'll go and change the label content to waiting and then do some tasks. So in this instance, what we're doing is we just want to delay our code for 10 seconds and then display a done message in the label. This is bad because what it will do is it will freeze up your program. So if I demonstrate this, so if I run this program over here, and as you can see here, if I click this button over here, notice that it's frozen it hasn't changed the label contents and i when i hover over it you can see that it seems to be so and now it's displayed the message done so if i click on that again you can see i can't even move the program window so when i try and click this or maximize it i cannot maximize it but if i add there you go now i can move it so this is the difference so how can we make this responsive so it's all the magic of this async keyword now this async keyword you add it after the private keyword in this instance or it could be a public keyword so you add it before the function name and notice here that it's retaining void because normally events from buttons do not retain anything so we just return void here and then notice here we use the await keyword and we are again using tasks.delay the user interface will still work properly this label will still get changed and then label would get changed here as well so if i now just change the method name here change that to two and remove the two here so that this one becomes the method that it will execute so if i run this now notice the difference in the behavior so you can see i can move it but if i click this button over here notice when i move my mouse over this the scale changes but now as soon as i click this will all this still work but that we move the program so you see the label text if i click there it changes to waiting and notice how i can move the window i can maximize it i can also hover over the button and it still highlights it and now it's printed a done message that's the advantage of using async keyword here this is just by convention this is something you just have to use and then you're going to use the await keyword and then what this will do is it won't block your user interface by using the await keyword and then it will execute whatever task that you want or method that you want in this instance we just use executing the delay method and all it does is just lays the program for 10 seconds and then it prints a message but the behavior difference is the very first time it goes and executes this it updates the label to waiting whereas in this example it didn't actually change the label content to waiting it just left it as it is it got stuck but using the async keyword and the await keyword it didn't get stuck so remember this is just by convention you have to do this and void is the return type for this so that's fine that's same as before and then you just use the await keyword so two simple keywords to make your program responsive